and they're given a uh, basically you tell us how old you are. Yeah. Kind of how Dominican players in baseball. So with the way that Serge Ibaka's body is breaking down, it's not conducive of a 25-year-old cat or 28-year-old cat, however old he says he is. So they're thinking he's well over 30, like 35, 36. Wow. You know, so, like, that's what OKC was, you know, they, they saw it and was like, well, we, we, we're we getting rid of him. You got to move. And that's why they traded him. Yeah. But also, his, he's not the same player. No, he's not. And I think that's because of he's going to that old man game. He's yeah. he's more older than, than, than we think, you know. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It goes down like that. I, I applaud Serge Ibaka for getting away with it for as long as he did. He got Kerry <laughs> Hilson and he made a couple couple M's. Yeah, right. that's a win in my book. I mean, hey, he's still playing. He just went, you know, even though I felt like Orlando kind of got robbed, man. You gave they up Oladipo. Yeah, they did. Right. And, and they gave up Sabonis. Yeah, like what? Yeah, okay, see, they made out on that, man. They did. They made out on that. So is that going to keep Kevin Durant there, y'all think? He already said he got he got meetings with, uh, what is it, with the Thunder? Not the Thunder, I'm sorry, the Spurs and uh, Golden State. Golden State. But when was the last he time just taking he was the a free agent, though? Uh, uh, I don't think he's ever really entered free agency. No, and that's the I thing think with, he saw, re-signed uh, after his rookie deal. I think a lot of these cats do that because they've never been courted, right? You yeah, know, yeah, so right. that's like their thing. And like, well, I think that that's the, really going to be their first big check. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, especially like right after their rookie deals. The thing is, it, it makes sense for him to go back to OKC. And at first, I thought like, oh, this is just stupid. He's going to go back to OKC. But I would have thought that with anybody other than Kevin Durant, man, because Kevin Durant don't care. He nah. just wants to hoop. Yeah. He said it too. Like I just want to hoop. I remember when the, when there was that lockout that was going on. He was out there playing. He was out there league. hooping, man. He was at the Rucker, and he was out there just hooping, man. He just got his backpack, jumped on a flight, and just was out there playing ball. Yeah. So, I think with Kevin Durant, he's the one player that I'm like, I really don't know what the heck he's gonna do. I hope he goes back to uh, okay, see, OKC. I would, I would like to see him and Russell get one more run. I don't want to see him going to Golden State. No, heck no. no. I think he'll play himself. If he did that. I yeah. think that'd be the. Like, everyone would be, was critical on LeBron. He went to Miami. They would be equally as critical yeah, with be, him. Yeah, they'd be killing KD for that. They would, they would kill Unless him Unless they that. went out the gate. I don't see them winning out the gate, though. Yeah. I think, and I could be wrong. That'd I think be an people issue, figure out yeah. how to play Golden State. Or they can use OKC and Cleveland's blueprint. I would, I would see them all, they having that unit together. If Golden State went out there, they would have that unit together for about a year before it became too much. And uh, and then they probably end up moving Clay, and that's messed up. Yeah. You Clay think Clay be the odd man out? Oh, you know what? Clay was the odd man out two years ago. So let me tell you this, man. Like, listen, we saw MC Hammer. Like, we saw people say that he lost a hundred million, and we kind of like, oh, he's broke. MC Hammer is broke. Harrison Barnes would be the first player I've actually seen lose a hundred, lose by <laughs> fifty million in yeah. person. Like, I yeah. seen him. I seen him lose it. Like he played like crap in the finals to where he was going to get a, a big payday. No one's going to pay him that max nah, deal now. Nah. No one's going to pay him that. And I really didn't know it was as bad as it was till after the series. They started reading off his numbers. Yeah. Like, man, he had an awful series. Like, he was thinking awful. About and that's why they lost the series, man, with Steve Kerr was just too stubborn in putting in Harrison Barnes and Azili. But does Steve Kerr – because I, I was reading uh, – it was on the undefeated. Uh-huh. Like, Steve Kerr doesn't really even call plays. Nah, I mean, at this point in the game, man, this guy's – especially in the playoffs, man, you figure Steve Kerr was gone for a large part of the year. Yeah. You know, the year you're gelling, and then after that you're really just – out here playing so at that point everybody should know their assignments or whatever Harrison had been playing well right you know so then afterwards you know not when the playoffs started happening he just got exposed man the stage was too big and I don't know man he just kind of think Curry got exposed or or he's injured or no I think Kyrie just busted his butt man yeah I was gonna say like Kyrie just busted his butt but that is kind of exposed though because you figure if you attack him he's never been a great defender though no but it was just that he could make those big shots all the time but they just stopped falling for him yeah I mean getting exposed by probably the best point guard in the league is something that's gonna happen yeah right right but I mean forcing him to actually play defense he got figured out you can't you can't hide him I agree with you on that Jay he got figured out yeah he definitely got figured out it was uh because they were going at him hard. They they had to. Yeah, they had to. And right. What really hurt him was that the switch and roll stopped working. Yeah. Yeah. Once once the uh, once the switch stopped working at the top of the key, uh, after that they were having a tough time. And Steph was taking like before we always let him get away with taking those bad shots, but he got exposed in the finals for taking yeah. those f- bad shots. Yeah, those bad shots became a, a, a fast break. Because Kerr actually came out and said it was like you know what that forty footer that he took yeah. right there that was yeah. a bad shot. Was a bad he shot. shouldn't have done that. That, that was that was not good basketball. It's one of them. Oh no no, and it, it, it go in like oh good shot. shot right. But when it don't go in, you're like oh my god, and it started to break. Durant peeped that a while ago though. Durant yeah. was like, he makes a lot of bad shots. Yeah, him and Durant, yeah. him and uh, Russell Westbrook said that. 
That's not disrespect. That's just, I mean, that's just basketball. Knowledge. IQ, yeah, yeah. That's just IQ out there, man. You know what I'm saying? You take bad shots. But you know what? I mean, if we want to talk about that, I mean, Westbrook puts up a lot of strong layups. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> He's get under control. Yeah, he needs to work. That, we need to yeah. do some yoga or something. Get a yeah. median because he's either zero or 100. There's no in between. Yeah. With him, man. Hey, this part is crazy right here. Just a side note from the basketball, man. Oh, yeah, this part I is I don't crazy. know how to, can you, like, when everything goes blackish white, do you have to stay in this area? No. Or you die? No, because there's these these blights are out here and they'll stop you from uh from jumping uh, or whatever. The best okay. part to do is just okay. kinda of just pot shotting from here and then every so often these guys like these guys are coming right now. Yeah. And then just just get like them out there quick. Shopping. You know. Uh huh. Okay. Um yeah, But yeah, man, we knew it was gonna be a, a very sports heavy pod today because there's really nothing going on video game wise. Do you um, not see the uh see this is the stuff I'm talking about on the ground right here. Like what is this stuff? The, those blights. You gotta get the blights out of there. Oh, just shoot those fat balls. Yeah. Okay. Pause. 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 Pause, pause. 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 <laughs> pause again, just just for. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Um. I was gonna say, did you guys see the parade, the uh, Cleveland Cavalier parade? You know what? Yes, yes, man. Oh man. my god. Three million. I, I love Petty LeBron. Let me just let me say that. Yeah. When he hopped off that plane and he had on the uh, the Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior, Warrior T-shirt <laughs> with the with the uh, with the Kermit the Frog sipping the tea, yeah. I love Petty LeBron, man. I love, and that's the thing about it was like I had a conversation with my homeboy last night, and he's a big Kobe fan, and most Kobe fans don't like LeBron. Yeah. yeah. And I think the reason why, first of all, Kobe never had his shine, because when Kobe was getting his shine, it was when Colorado happened. And uh, he never got to really that's Kobe's shine. Fault, he never man. got to bask. No, and that's Kobe's fault. But um, but anyways, it's like that's the LeBron we always knew that he should have been, and and that's the part that really ticks everybody off. It's like, dude, you've always been the best player. Just play like you're bigger than everybody because you are. Right. You know. But I love the fact that he played that way, dog. And I, I just love the fact that you can't say anything bad about dude, man. No. Like he did everything right, man. And I think sometimes that gets into the the problem I have with him is he tries he tries to do everything right. Right. Instead of just to, being a dude, just being a, a real dude. But he has a lot of pressure. Yeah. Everybody does, though. But the thing about it is that pressure doesn't have to be. I think a lot of it I, is self-induced. I, th I, I think his pressure was a lot more than, let's say, Kyrie's. Oh, no, no. I mean, because of the hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was yeah, definitely no the most overhyped player in a long time. But was it overhyped? <clears throat> Absolutely. He, he, he did deliver. He had a $100 million dollar contract before he set foot on the floor with Nike. Would you yeah. do... If Nike had it all to do all over again, would they do it? Absolutely, because yeah. he was the most polarizing uh, uh, player at that I'm time. I'm saying he, he's lived up to the hype. But oh, since, yeah, to no, have no. to live up to that, though, he yeah, definitely, oh, yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's tenfold. He, uh, yeah. You know, he tries to keep the image going, but I feel like he doesn't realize that, you know, the image isn't uh, on him being so PC. Right. Because Jordan, right, right, right. I mean, when it came to that basketball court, man, Jordan wasn't, you know what I'm saying, happy-go-lucky. Right. You know, oh. he was talking trash all right. the time. Like, everybody knew that. You seem to really embrace the fact that just stay out of trouble off the court. That's yes, really we, the biggest thing. We love buttholes, man. Yeah. As 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 sports figures, we love buttholes. That's just what it is. We love we love the butthole when it comes to it. So, pause. Okay, we love to <laughs> act like buttholes. That's all I want to say. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to cut my voice up <laughs> and then just have it out there, have an idea completely out there. But, yeah, so LeBron just quit trying to sound and do everything the right way. And I love that speech he gave, yeah. you know, at the end of uh, at the parade yesterday or the other day. Yo, that's, yeah, that that's speech was so team. thugged out. Yeah. yeah, like yo, you could tell it was it was a lot of they was going through the hoods of Cleveland. Oh when man, LeBron got up on that stage, man. Oh he man, was, he was talking like it was just me and you. Right, you know exactly. Saying? I felt like he was talking right to me. Right. He was cussing up a storm. He oh didn't man, care. I, I didn't know, see the, the, the team. The, I watched it, man. The people uh, that was like broadcasting it, the networks were all like, "We're so sorry." Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even see the unedited version until. Um, like later in the day, like oh, the next day, I didn't see, see it. See, I saw it live, yo. Yeah, okay. LeBron went in. Yeah, I saw it. I did. I ended up seeing it, and yeah. I, I love that about him, though. Yeah. And let's let, give it up. Give, just give it up to J.R. Smith. He went yeah. so hard. Yeah. He's on the Mount Rushmore of going hard. Yeah. He wore the same shorts, okay, yeah. from yeah. the time that they won the championship until the parade. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No shirt. No shirt. He so could not take Obama was like, yo, tell him to get a shirt. I, yeah, Obama did say that. Yeah. I love. I love my president, man. <laughs> So um, somebody get Jr. shirt. Somebody get Jr. shirt. But the, uh, yeah, Jr. probably walking around with a strand of an STD. We don't even know what it is. <laughs> Yo, man, man Jr. You know? is out here. He living high off the hog right now. You yeah. know what's interesting though? What's up? All big, the whole, the entire big three actually came up at the end of that game. Yeah, they actually, yeah. all played an integral part. They did. Of the win. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Uh, Kevin Love, he stopped being a trash can, man. 
You know what I'm saying? D on, uh, he locked him up for hey, that, that, that last was, yo, He was <laughs> he was up there up. like, yo, they been talking about me all series. You're yeah. not gonna score this shot on me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna blame this on me. You know, right. that's exactly the way he was shuffling those feet, yeah. pointing those out like they're not yeah. getting the shot off. Yeah. Yeah. He, he locked yeah. him down. I, I thought pop, that was funny. Because had pop they, was like, yo, he looked like he was in drills. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. <laughs> he went back to fundamentals. All that swag went out the window. He was out there shuffling them feet, man. Oh man. Yeah, but yeah, that was definitely an intimate speech that he gave. Man. Absolutely. Yeah. It was funny. I was watching. Uh, I was on YouTube, and they had a video of him throwing a little shade at uh, the owner. Uh-huh. Oh, where, yeah. Where, he just gave uh, him the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Who Dan Gilbert? Yeah, yeah. Dan, Dan Gilbert. Dan gave Gilbert his owe him something. I think Dan Gilbert going to end up selling that team to LeBron. And yeah. probably. Yeah. I think so. Or make him at least a partial owner when something. it's all said and done. He's gonna give him something. Yeah, absolutely. Dan so. Gilbert owe him a bill. And absolutely. he won a championship, like he said he was gonna do. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's funny because all those jersey burners are hopping back on the train now. They have to. They, I mean, why wouldn't you, though? You have I mean, to. You, it's not like you burned his jersey because he stayed. Like, man, we hate you, bro. Then leave. Get out of here. They burned his jersey because it's like, yo, why would you leave us like this, man? Like, why would you do us like this is pain? You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, they that's like, you know, That's like taking your girl back. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Right. I was like Luke Skywalker. He was leaving, man. He had to get that Jedi training. Nah, nah. He but you know what? He did need to leave so that way they could get better because we yeah. never got Byrie. If uh, mm-hmm. if that wasn't the case, you or know what I'm on big bees, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get into that. Okay, we gonna get into that, man. I oh gosh, we gonna get into that that YG album. But Whew. yeah, man, I think that uh, it was big for LeBron. Like I just think there's nothing you can say about him anymore. The people who hate on him is really just hate, and they yeah. can admit, You're yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. is hate. Cause he did, not so much he did everything right. It's like yo, even that block, like that block was just so disrespectful. It was, it was yeah. man. It was. <laughs> But, like I said, I get how some people get frustrated with LeBron because that's the way he should have been playing all the time. And he's one of the most unselfish stars, but he got to learn how to be unselfish when he needs to be. I don't think people are watching the game, though, because he plays hard all the time. He I does. mean, sometimes, granted, he takes time. Results, days, man. Days off. Yes. But when he plays, he's affecting the game. Yeah. In so many, From so many yeah. different ways, yeah. Yeah. He is. He is. Yeah, LeBron, he, he, you know, hey man, he's got a very, uh, got a very unique skill set. It, it's tough to deal with. It is. It's definitely tough to give, deal with. But he I will say he jumper right. He, he no, nah, he's got to have a, a, a talented guard with him. Like that's the one thing that I will say about LeBron. LeBron absolutely has because he doesn't need another big no, to really not. be out there. No, nah, because a big actually clogs up the middle. Yeah, yeah exactly. It hurts him. But uh, he's got to have a talented, uh, a talented. Two, if you ask me, but I guess you could also say that he needs a, a talented one. But um, you don't think J.R. Smith's good enough? Or what's your thought on that? Uh, you know, J.R. Smith is good enough, but it's the fact that Kyrie really plays a two. Mm. He's just the size of a one, so he has to play the one. But if you notice, LeBron mainly takes the ball up the court True. and, you know, sets up the plays and all that stuff. But you need a guy that can out, get out there, create his own shot, and, you know, can knock him down from distance and Shoot, that all game, that stuff. Yeah, that game five, man, that was a game – I was one of the best games I've ever seen. Just the yeah. greatest like performances yeah. Yeah. I've seen by two guys, and they both had 41. They literally – they were unstoppable, man. Yeah, what could you do? Now yeah. I guess all the discussion in the East, uh, as far as uh, your point guards go, I guess now uh, Kyrie has shown that he's trumped Athletic Rondo, uh, John Wall out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, now that's no longer a discussion. Athletic Rondo. <laughs> <laughs> I had to marinate my head for it. Athletic <laughs> Rondo. Wow. Wow. Yes, yeah, point athletic Rondo. Yeah. I- they hit a wall. I think Brad, Bill can't stay healthy. Nope. And nobody wants to go there. That, no. That's what's really kind of troubling me. Like, why does nobody want to go to the uh, Wizards? Yeah, I don't but know. But you know what, though? Jeff T. I don't know if I agree with Atlanta's decision on that. Um, I think they had to make something happen because yeah. they, they like the boy with the gold streak in his hair. Uh, Schroeder. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, they're, just, they're I blowing like it up, too. Thing. Nah, yeah. they're blowing it up. Because, I tra- mean, Al Horford probably going to get up out of there. Oh, yeah. yeah, they they're can't They can't up. pay him. Yeah. If they, I mean, basically, they, they, Al Horford wants the max. I can see Millsap even get moved out of there. He's yeah. a shell of himself. Yeah, they up, yeah. Yeah. Even though, you know what, I think Horford would be a really good addition on the Hornets. Weird as that sounds. Yeah, the Hornets actually got some things going, man. They, yeah. They, yeah. Um, they definitely got some things. In I wonder what Jordan's influence is. Or do they just tell him, like, look, man. Fear, just, just fear. Yeah. Nah, Jordan shows up there like, listen, get us together. Get the man is in the house. Right. <laughs> saying, I don't want to cry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan cry face, best means ever, man. Yeah, nah, I'm I'm back when uh, Jordan made his teammate cry. Oh yeah. On the Which Wizards. One? Uh, who was it? Was it? I don't think Kwame? it was Kwame Brown. I don't think it was Kwame. Uh, but um, he made what somebody Rick, cry, bro. It? 
She nah. would probably made a lot of people cry, though. No, nah, I mean, like they cry, said, break down jump. sobbing in tears. Cry, like, after practice, he, he got on them so bad that they, you know, breaking down in tears. Like, that has to be quite a hum.